All right, what's going on guys? Another day here in the Canary Islands. We are gonna be doing some uh, bottom fishing here. I've got a high-low rig set up today, and we're gonna put uh, some shrimp-flavored fish bites on one of the hooks, and we'll put a little gulp sandworm on another hook. Um, I do have some shrimp left at the apartment. It's just not fun to carry shrimp around with you all day when it's sitting in your backpack in the hot sun. So today, we're gonna leave the shrimp at home and we're gonna fish some artificial uh, baits. Not lures, but artificial baits. Uh, hopefully we don't get too many ornate wrasses. I've caught enough of those over the last several trips. And maybe the slight little uh, bait change uh, changes the types of fish that we've been catching because so far uh, it's been just a lot of ornate wrasses and maybe something else mixed in there. Hopefully those guys don't like these lures or these baits um, as much as they like uh, natural shrimp. So anyway, let's give it a shot and let's see what happens here. All right, so there's our one ounce sinker on that small hook on the bottom is that little bit of fish bite and then on the small hook above that is the little uh, gulp sandworm. So I'm just going to start chucking this thing pretty far on out there close to shore. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be those ornate wrasses and the canary damsel fish that we got here yesterday. Out deeper though, I'm hopeful that we get a better variety of species, but who knows what will happen. First, I just hope the fish like these two little artificial baits, and this isn't gonna be a waste of time. Oh, there we go. It's a little guy, but let's see what it is. First fish of the day. Did it hit the fish bites or the sandworm? And let's see what it is. <laughs> it's an ornate wrasse on the sandworm. All right, so that did not take long at all. Less than two minutes in, got our first fish of the day. It's an ornate wrasse that hit the, uh, hit the sandworm. There we go. Next fish on. Let's see what it is and let's see what it hit. He's coming. Oh, new species. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so I'm not sure what this is. This one hit the fish bites, not the sandworm. I believe this is gonna be another one of what they call some type of a bream out here in this part of the world. Uh, I think it's related to like the porgies we have over on our side of the Atlantic. But I know I've not caught this one before. So pending ID. This is going to be a new addition to the life list. There we go. Is it off? Is it on? Oh, yep, it's on. Let's see what this is. Ornate wrasse. All right, third fish is our second ornate wrasse of the day. This guy hit the fish bite, but now that I'm looking at it, my sandworm is missing, so something also hit the sandworm. There we go. Fish on. Is it off? There we go. What do we got? Another ornate wrasse. All right, so this guy hit the top hook with the sandworm. So, so far I think it's 50-50. We got two fish on the sandworm on the top, two fish on the fish bite on the bottom. Unfortunately though, it's just a lot of ornate wrasses. Is 
Got him. Let's see what this is once we get it in. I'd say two to one odds that it's an ornate wrasse. Where is he? I was right. All right, so another ornate wrasse on the gulp sandworm. Beautiful fish, but there's just so, 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 so many of them out here. There we go. It's a smaller one, but I think there's something on there. Let's see what it is. Ornate wrasse. All right, so it seems like the sandworm has kind of taken over here. We got more fish now on the sandworm than we had on the fish bites. Especially these little wrasses, they seem to like the, uh, the, the sandworm a little bit better. Got him. This one actually it felt bigger when he first hit. Now he kind of gave up. It's another ornate wrasse. I really can't with these guys anymore. All right. Again, beautiful, beautiful fish. But I don't know what else to say about these guys. I just can't believe how abundant they are over here. All right, yeah, so still the little fish bite on the bottom hook. But now I also added a fish bite on the top hook. I think we only got two fish on the fish bites today. Uh, one wrasse and that little green corgi type thing uh, way in the beginning and then after that all the hits have just been coming on the uh, on the sandworm that's where all the wrasses uh, came out except for that one that I mentioned so hopefully the wrasses don't like this as much and I don't mind catching less fish right now as long as we don't catch the wrasses and I don't mind waiting a little little while until that first bite but hopefully that first bite is something besides an ornate wrasse. That's just a little ornate wrasse. All right, so this is just a little juvenile ornate wrasse. My theory is kind of working out. I'm getting a lot less bites. I'm just getting all these like really, really small taps, which I think is just wrasses. But there should be some puffer fish out here that are pretty common. So I'm wondering if those are also the puffers. I don't know, but either way, all we got to show for that was a little ornate wrasse. All right, another change of plans. I got snagged and I broke off my high-low rig. So I'm gonna tie this thing, well, I did tie this thing on. 1 16th ounce jig head, little piece of that gulp sandworm. I'm just gonna kinda, that didn't cast out very far, a little too light for this setup. Anyway, I'm just gonna try to like drag this on the bottom maybe and hope we get lucky with this. Cause outside of that one bream porgy type thing, it has not been a good session. Got him. That's something new for the day, but I think I got these guys yesterday. All right, new species for the day, but pretty sure we got two of these guys yesterday. This is one of those uh, rockfish. So really cool, unique looking fish. 
Got venomous dorsal spine, so you gotta be careful with these guys. Really, really cool catch, but not a new one for the life list. So let's go ahead, let's get this guy back. Got him. Ooh, what is that? That guy's fighting well, but it's just another ornate wrasse. So I wonder what these guys like more, these gulp sandworms or the natural shrimp I was using the last couple days. Because either way, I just cannot stay away from these guys. Oh, got him. But it's another ornate wrasse. So just like my other fishing sessions here, I am getting very annoyed very fast by these guys. So let's get, get them back. I think we'll make another cast or two, but again, it's almost lunchtime, so I think we're gonna wrap it up here soon. Another dropper loop, single hook this time instead of the high-low rig. Little fish bite on there. I just, I just don't want to have this trip go to waste. I know mostly what we're getting are ornate wrasses, but I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to fish this area of the world again. So I just want to make the most of it. But I can't catch any other species if I'm not fishing at all. So let's fish for a little bit longer. Hopefully we don't get more ornate wrasses and hopefully we get something cool that I haven't caught yet. Another little rockfish. All right, so we got another tiny little rockfish. I believe it's the same species. I dropped straight down between the rocks. I wasn't really getting much out deeper. And we got that little guy. Got him. What is that? Feels bigger. Oh, this guy's pulling well. What is that? He's right between the rocks. That can't just be another rasp, can it? No, this is something different. Let's go. All right, guys, take a look at this beast of a fish. My biggest fish out of the Canary Islands. Again, I'm sure they call it some sort of a bream, but this looks just like out of the porgy family that we have on the uh, Western Atlantic. So I am so glad I stayed here a little bit longer. Let's get this guy back. Let's keep fishing anyway and see what else we can get to. All right, so let's make another drop. There's some really deep water here right between the rocks. We picked up two fish there, including a really, really nice one that we just got, whatever it was. Let's see if there's anything else hanging out down there. Got him. But now I'm snagged. That's the risky run. There we go. Oh, yes, let's go. This is something different too. I was snagged for a second, but we got it out. Let's go. I'm so happy right now. Alrighty, so when this guy first came out of the water, I thought it was just another one of those rockfish, but it's not. This is some sort of a cardinal fish. So these guys are usually nocturnal, or I should say they're, they are nocturnal. They usually spend their days in little cracks in the rocks and little caves. So that's probably where this guy was. Alright, this is an awesome little catch. Another new species for the life list, as long as I could identify it. So let's get this guy back, and I am so happy. Three new species for the life list in this trip.
Oop, got him. Tiny, tiny little rockfish, I think. All right, so it certainly is a rockfish. I'm just not sure about the same one that we caught before. I don't know how many different rockfish there are over here, but this one is way lighter in color. I think it has a slightly different body shape. It might just be because it's like a juvenile and so small, so it looks that different. It's probably the same one that we caught earlier, but hopefully it's not. Anyway, pretty good day. Dropping down here among the rocks seems to have been paying off. Got him. What is that? Oh, it's a damsel. All right, first canary damsel of the day. Caught a couple of these guys yesterday. Like any other damsel fish, they like to poop all over the place as soon as you catch them, just like this guy did. Uh, but they do have really, really nice accents. Really brown color, but all these nice, like, just electric blue. I've never seen, at least I don't think I've ever seen, fish with bright colors, with colors that are that bright. I've seen fish with a lot of nice colors, but these, they, they look, they look like lights. They look electric. They look like actual lights that you turn on. And anyway, I'm rambling on now. Canary damselfish. Let's keep going. Got him. Another rockfish. All right, so we got ourselves another rockfish. Seems like they are living up to their name among the rocks. There are plenty of rockfish. Oh, there was a fish on there. And it's another rockfish. All right, something I haven't noticed about these guys, look at those giant eyes. They are huge compared to the size of the head and the size of the body. Just perfect little adaptation for living in these dark areas in between the rocks. So another cool catch. Alrighty, so the bites slowed down. Haven't had really any hits in the last 15 minutes or so. I might have fished that hole out because all the fish I caught out of the holes came out of that one right there. But I've also fished a lot of these other holes kind of nearby in this area and I haven't got anything out of those either. So either the tide changed or something happened, but we're just not getting any bites anymore. So I think we're gonna wrap it up on that. All right guys, so that's gonna do it. And what a pretty good session. We got three new species, um, that porgy thing, the little, little one in the beginning, then that big porgy thing kind of toward the end, and then that cardinal fish, and it ended up being a really good day. Uh, it started out a little rough. Just so, so many ornate wrasses, just like in every single other fishing session I've had here in the Canary Islands. There's just so many of them. Um, they really like the gulp sandworm, so I'll, I'll probably use that again. It's just, if I'm trying to catch other fish, I don't know if I want to work through all those ornate wrasses, because uh, I think they're going to go after the sandworm more often than on the fish bites. I caught a couple on the fish bites, but on the fish bites, uh, we got a much greater variety of species. So, I don't know, I gotta experiment a little bit more. I still got some frozen shrimp in the apartment, which I've gotta use. So we'll experiment a little bit over the next couple days. We'll see what the fish like better. That is a big crab walking right next to me. All right, uh, so yeah, we'll experiment a little bit. I'm so glad I didn't end it when I thought I was going to end it. I was ready to go to lunch. I'm like, you know, let, let me try something else. Then I started kind of just dropping here among the rocks and we got a whole bunch of fish there, two new species, whole bunch of really cool looking rockfish, and really that was the highlight of the session, fishing among these rocks right here. There, I found a little hole that just had some really deep water. I think there was like a little ledge there because it would hit the bottom, I'm like, oh, that's not too deep. Then I'd move it a little bit and then it would fall down again another probably three or four feet. And down in the bottom of that deep hole is where we picked up everything, that big porgy thing, all those rockfish, and that cardinal fish. And it ended up being a really, really nice day. So yeah, three new species for the life list. I'm happy. Let's go get some lunch.